1990s, Roger Kamenetz wrote and Laurel Chaitin filmed The Jew and the Lotus. chronicled the historic meeting in Dharmasala, India, between the Dalai Lama and a group of rabbis and Jewish scholars. It was a profound moment of contact for those involved from both traditions. Yet, for Zalman it was but one of many examples of deeply respectful dialogue with other religious leaders and thinkers. He has not been afraid to share the treasures of Judaism with others. Through his example, we have seen how the Jewish tradition can enrich others and is itself enriched. When you find those people, then you get a feeling of These people are my friends. The fact that they are speaking to God in their language, with their metaphors, with their root forms, doesn't give me trouble. We give each other permission to fully sanctify our Creator in a joyful way. Oi, you're doing it this way. Gesundheit, I broke on your Kepler that you're doing it this way. I'm doing it this way. If you show me yours, I show you mine, you know. And what happens at that point is that we can bear our souls to each other and we enter into a dialogue of devoutness, not a dialogue of theology which always gets us to argue, but a dialogue of devoutness. When you love God and, and something happens to disturb your mind, your heart in Davenant, what do you do? And so I'll tell you what I do. And we find out that we all have the same troubles, the same problems. And we come up fairly with the same solutions. His deep ecumenism, as he calls it, is really an important, uh, an important ingredient that has inspired uh, this kind of congregation and me particularly to be very much involved in interreligious work. For instance, we're very active in GBIO or Greater Boston Interfaith Organization. Uh, we have, we're now, I'm now on the board of a, of a new Jewish Muslim resource center we want to start in Boston. And we're working very hard on just basically uh, getting at least the clergy, if not the people in the pews, but at least the clergy to feel very comfortable with each other as colleagues that were really in the same fight, doing the same thing of raising human consciousness to a new place. Religions are vital organs of the planet. And you can't live with the heart alone, and you can't live with the brain alone. You need all of them. Every one of them is necessary. And if we want to be universal and help the planet, we have to be the healthiest ones that we can be. So if the, if the liver is healthy, uh, it can help the heart become more healthy and vice versa. And I think that this is what I would like to see about religions doing. The recognition that we have some things that are exchangeable.